Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and this uh, weekend I was just feeling a bit bored so I just uh, rooted my Android phone that's a Galaxy Nexus and installed the Cyanogen mod and actually if you have a Nexus device it's very easy to root it because of this uh, great tool by by WUG Fresh called the Nexus Toolkit. You can easily, uh, what do you say, root uh, your phone and install custom ROMs using the same. So it was pretty easy. And as you can see, this is the Cyanogen 10 mod that I installed. And if you look at it, it looks very similar to, to the stock Android experience, I would say. Uh, but there are a few uh, changes. If you notice the, uh, what do you say, the status bar above, you can see this battery icon. I could customize the same. You do get this Google Now still like this and we do have google now that's there and uh, let me show you some of the things uh what i felt is that uh the phone i can't talk about uh, the battery life right now because it's just around 24 hours that i'm using and actually i downgraded this phone uh, it was running the android version 4.2.1 and i've installed just the cyanogen uh, mod 10 not 10.1 and if i show you the settings if i go here it's running the Android version 4.1.2 because this is the stable version that I'm using. The latest version is uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.1, which I also installed on my Nexus 7 tablet. I'll show you that. Uh, but as I'm, this is my primary phone and I use it, this is the uh, stable version. Uh, so I just opted for that. And again, this offers us a lot of options. Actually, uh, if you can see the settings, we have the launcher option and from here, we can change a lot of things. For example, uh, we can go to the home screen and change the number of home screens if you want. By default, it's five, for example. Here you can change it to six, seven, eight, or whatever you want. And also, uh, if you notice with every Android device, we have the search bar. You can also disable the same if you want. For example, if I click that and press home, as you can see, the search bar is gone now. So uh, again, a uh, lot of customizations are available. If you go to the lock screen also here, also we have uh, the option, for example, I added the, what do you say, battery status option. I also enabled weather, Yahoo weather. And if I show you, if I unlock the phone, we get the weather like this. So that's also an option. And again, let's go back to the settings. We also get this uh, quick toggle tray here, as you can see, and we can also customize this one auto brightness setting etc uh, let's go back to the settings again and uh, if we go to the system again here we have a lot of options for example as i said status bar we can modify it a lot for example as you can see i've enabled the battery percentage we can change that again we have a, a lot of options like just the circle with percentage for example now it shows with circle with percentage but i just want to show it as percentage and uh, uh, again, uh, Cyanogen mod uh, has these little tweaks that can uh, be uh, beneficial if you're a power user. Again, notification draw also we can uh, modify as I showed. I want to show the uh, widget uh, and we can also uh, what is resize the widgets if we want. And also with the power button also we have these options. For example, now if I hit the power button, as you can see, I have the screenshot option and the reboot option that also you can customize. Let's go back here and these are the options that you have and uh, let me go back uh, another cool uh, addition that we get in the settings is if we go to the display option here you can see this notification uh, light option and this is great and using this you can easily customize the uh, led notifications on your galaxy nexus android phone as you can see for gmail i have set it to a uh, green color for SMS, that's messaging, it's blue. And if I get a WhatsApp message, the LED light will glow as uh, yellow. Again, it's completely customizable. And if you click on here, you can select the color you want. So again, that's a, also a great option, I feel, with this Cyanogen 10 mod. Also, we do get the rotation option. And if you want, you can enable the same. Also, we can go to this advanced op option. And here, you, if you, uh, I would say, do not tinker around this with uh, too much. But if you know what you're doing, you can do a lot of stuff. For example, one more thing is their performance and it will warn you here. Uh, again, you can change the processor speed, for example, the minimum CPU for speed or the maximum. In this ROM, it does not uh, allow you to overclock, but there are other uh, ROMs which allow you to do that. So again, it gives you a lot of options here, as you can see. Also, one more thing that I noticed is particularly in the web browsing section, uh, I would say uh, 
it's a lot faster i felt for example let's go to tech2bus.com and let's go here and if you notice how quickly it loaded also the pinch to zoom gesture is again really uh, silky smooth oops yeah here we go and as you can see it's pretty nice uh, again the actually my galaxy nexus was pretty fast so i didn't feel uh, that much in the performance but uh, i also installed this cyanogen mod on my nexus 7 and here i felt the speed actually it, i felt it becomes a little bit more faster again it's very similar to the stock android experience that you get again as you can see but we do get uh, tweaks like this and uh, it allows you to do a lot of customization again regarding the battery life i cannot comment uh, right now too much because i didn't test it too much but as you can see it's been about 18 hours i didn't use the phone too much because it was a holiday and just 41 minutes of on-screen time but as you can see it's just uh, on 74 uh, percentage so i feel it improved a little bit but again i can't say definitely it has improved or decreased i'll uh, know that in the next couple of days Overall, I'm pretty happy with the Cyanogen mod and, and did not have any crashes or anything like that. I did modify the default dialer. This is the EX dialer because I did not like the stock Android uh, dialer. So this is the only customization I did. So overall, uh, pretty happy and in the past 24 hours or so, no issues with the same. We also get the Play Store. Uh, and it's really easy to root your phone and install it on a Nexus device using the WUG uh, Fresh you get you just have to unlock the bootloader and uh, load the, what do you say uh, ROM manager like clockwork mod or TWPR and then you can easily install the Cyanogen mod on the same if you guys would like that I make a video regarding the same I can do that do let me know in the comment section again we do also get some wallpapers like this Cyanogen mod Again, I would say great ROMs in the past 24 hours, it's pretty stable, no issues. Uh, so I would say it's a great ROM. But uh, as I said, I also installed it on my, what do you say, uh, the Nexus 7 tablet. And here I felt the performance gains. And if you notice, uh, with the default Nexus, let me zoom out. And with the default Nexus tablet, uh, you actually get the, actually the Chrome web browser. But uh, I always felt that the Chrome uh, web browser was not that great on the Nexus 7. It was a little bit laggy. And this is the stock Android browser. And as you can see, the pinch to zoom, etc. is really smooth. And I definitely felt that I had a better experience compared to the stock Chrome browser that ships with the default uh, Nexus 7. So uh, again, as you can see, I did not modify this a lot. Just stock, again, not a lot of applications also, hardly any applications, but I mostly use this tablet for browsing and I can easily say that in terms of web browsing, uh, it's much more snappier. Again, uh, I'll share my experience a little bit more after using it for a week or so. So that's it for now for this quick look at the Cyanogen mod, what do you say? Ten and again on this tablet i installed the latest version that's the cyanogen mod 10.1 let me show you the same about the tablet and as you can see it's the android version 4.2.1 and cyanogen mod 10.1 nightly so this is the latest one because uh, i just used this tablet for web browsing so i was not that much worried about it so even this is also working fine i didn't face any crashes or anything like that again as i said if you guys would like that I make a video, in-depth video about how to install Cyanogen mod on your Nexus device. Do let me know in the comments. So that's it for now for this quick look at the Cyanogen mod on Nexus devices. That's the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 7 tablet. Thank you for watching. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.